Hey, what's going on guys? Mark Lensangen here from Techno Buffalo, and today we're going to take our first look at Microsoft's new web browser, Project Spartan. Now, a few months back, we actually did a video on Windows 10 and showed you most of the new stuff that's going to be included in Microsoft's newest OS. Now, Project Spartan, unfortunately, wasn't one of them. But the latest build of Windows 10 now includes Project Spartan, so let's go ahead and see what it's all about. So the first thing we notice about Project Spartan is how basic and minimalistic it looks. You can access your favorites, your reading view, reading lists, inking, and sending feedback to Microsoft. Now performance at the moment is a bit sluggish, uh, but then again, this is an early build. So a lot of what you're seeing right now is probably gonna get a lot better. Uh, one of the new features in Project Spartan is the ability to enable a new mode called Reading View. Now, this mode essentially strips down a page and provides you with a distraction-free environment. Unfortunately, not every page is going to work, but you know what site's working? Techno Buffalo. Yep, you can read some tips and tricks on the Galaxy S6 right now and a ton more. Cortana is also available inside Project Spartan, and the cool thing about Cortana is if, for example, you're looking at a restaurant online, Cortana can give you more details about the restaurant by giving you directions, hours, and you can even book a table by using OpenTable. Unfortunately, there's not a whole lot of sites and restaurants that Cortana will have access to, but hopefully in the future we'll see more. So probably the coolest feature in Project Spartan is the ability to annotate websites. Now, annotating or inking allows you to write or type directly on the page you're looking at. You can save the annotated site in your favorites, reading lists, OneNote, or send it off to a friend if you'd like. But as of right now, it's a bit buggy saving web notes, but hopefully in a future build, this bug will be fixed. It's a really fun tool, and I think this will change the way we share sites to friends and family. So the other features that we noticed in Project Spartan was the ability to quickly check the weather by typing in weather inside the address bar. And Microsoft also mentioned a new rendering engine built inside Project Spartan to load pages quicker, though we haven't really noticed a difference in that area just yet. So of course, with a name like Project Spartan, it sounds intense, though this won't be the final name for the browser, but we should find that out once Windows 10 is right around the corner. We should also expect extension support for the browser if it wants to compete with Google Chrome, and for Microsoft to adapt its new rendering engine and provide updates to consumers running Windows 10. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, and if you guys haven't subscribed yet, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and I will see you guys in the next one.